Notre Dame Cathedral. Um, it is literally about to rain, so we're trying to we're gonna try and get some pictures before it does start pouring. Oh yeah. Okay, so we I'm gonna try and find a place where we can take like a good shot of the place. Oh, we have to cross the road. Oh, nice. Okay. It's this building that is right behind me. All right, let's, let's go. This was the lady that I was talking about. Turns out she was done with crossing roads. And so we were well and truly on our own. I'm sorry the footage is more shaky than usual. I was just more concerned with crossing these roads than capturing the cars. But you know what? This is a skill that I have yet to develop. Anyone who can do it, well done. All right, I have just arrived at Notre Dame Cathedral of Saigon. This building is actually built by the French in the 1800s, and it is one of the oldest Catholic buildings still standing in Vietnam. It is also very popular with tourists, including myself. Apparently people witnessed the statue of Virgin Mary crying. This was in 2005. Um, it was refuted, but you know, that's what some people saw. So it, it totally might be true. And now we are at, literally, it was like steps away. I only had to cross the road. We are now at the central post office. They started building the post office in 1886 and they finished building it in 1891. And it is still standing. It is still a functioning post office. We're about to go in and check it out. But first, let's just let's just check out how beautiful it is from the outside and check out everyone who is also admiring its beauty. Okay, I'm now inside the, the central post office and I noticed these booths that I'm not too sure what it's actually used for and there's no like information that tells us what it is. So this is what it looks like and I'm gonna guess what it's for. It is very nice and warm in here, but I'm gonna take a guess and I'm gonna guess that this was what they used to send like, like, um, telegram messages when they use code and I'm, I'm gonna google what this is for and then put it right here so that you know as well but I really have no idea what it's for it's like it's like a telephone booth but without telephones and there's like six of them just lined uh, like right next to each other so I'm just assuming that this is this was used for telegram when they go like doo -doo 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 -doo. oh okay I'm gonna go back out I'm sweating like crazy they also have a souvenir shop right here in the central post office and it's it's pretty cool. No, there's still a bike. There's still a bike. Okay, after this one, after this one. All right, we've just arrived at a coffee shop near the central post office here in Saigon, and I've ordered a traditional Vietnamese coffee. I was hoping they would bring it over with like the drip coffee style method, but they handed it to us all ready-made with ice. I actually really like it. It's actually really good. Okay, we're currently at a shopping mall here in Ho Chi Minh City because it is pouring outside. It's a great way to get away from the rain. And what we're doing is we're just comparing prices here with like prices in Australia. And actually a lot of the branded items 
are actually more expensive here than in Australia, which I find quite interesting. And I don't think this is like the Bantam market. I definitely can't try to haggle here. They would probably shoo me out of the shopping center. We have just arrived at Book Street. It is so cute because this whole street is lined with bookstores and there are like fake bus stops where you can sit and just like read. And they have like cafes with books and they have, yep, a lot of bookstores. The bus stop that I was talking about, let me show you. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to be exploring the streets to see if we can find anything good to eat. It is currently 5.30ish and I can definitely have an early dinner today. Hi. Hi. It's a bit tart, but it's actually quite refreshing. Is a tip if you're ever looking to visit the central post office come here at night it is currently if you can see on that clock around 7 30 and there is barely anyone here you can take as many photos as you want without anyone being in your shot and if you have a good low light camera you can capture the post office in a different light essentially so come here at night and you don't have to fight for space in order to take a good photo of the post office. All right, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing weekend and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.